Well, you brought somebody with you yeah. today, didn't you? This is my friend Cora. Cora? She's a rescue pug. We've had her for about five years. Uh, she comes from Green Mountain Pug Rescue. It's a local, uh, semi-local. They're from, New, you know, they do New York, Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire, a little bit of Massachusetts, I think. Yeah. Um, but they're a great organization. They, they're, they're, they're a 501 c nonprofit, and all they do is rescue pugs and find them new homes. You know, pugs <coughs> in, in, in shelters or in puppy mills and uh, unwanted dogs who you know people just don't who just people just you know I hate to say it, but they just throw them away. Right. You know, and uh, Green Mountain Pug Rescue goes in, finds them, rehabilitates them, fosters them into ho foster homes, and waits for someone to find. It's come to adopt them. Uh, we adopted Coraba. Actually, <laughs> she was what we call a failed foster. We were fostering her, and we ended up keeping her. So there you go. <laughs> she was a great little dog. And the uh, reason we're here talking about them is today they're going to be at our store, uh, if you all pause only, and from 12 to 3. They're coming in, and they're going to have a few dogs for meet and greet. You come down and meet a few of the dogs that are ready for adoption uh, or looking for foster. And mm -hmm. they're going to be there looking for, you know, they're going to be looking for donations and uh, actually volunteers. Uh, one of the big things right now is <coughs> they're looking Beauty. for foster homes. Uh, they have a lot of dogs in foster, and they're always looking for people, especially in this area, to foster dogs and keep them until they find a permanent home yep. for them. Um, they're a great organization. We want people to come down and meet them, and just uh, come down and meet the pugs. Now, but you said uh, Cora is Cora going to be down? They're going to bring Cora today. She no, Cora probably will stay home. She's we like I said we've had her five, five and a half years, but she's still a very nervous dog. She she'll probably never get over that. Um, she doesn't like a lot of commotion, a lot of noise going on. And there's so. always a lot going on down there for you. Oh yeah, always, it'll be so. busy. It'll be busy down there today. So Cora will probably stay home. Uh, That'll be great. It's not good for her, but she's she's just as happy at home, sitting there. In her, in her little pug bed and <laughs> chewing on something, huh? A little pug bed. Now, speaking of uh, chewing on something, I want to do that. <laughs> it's a perfect lead-in. Yeah. Because uh, you brought some stuff from the store today, and uh, this is the one that I'm just amazed by. This is an actual moose antler, yeah. part of a moose antler, and it's rock hard, And but a dog can chew it, but it takes forever for a dog to chew it, you said. Yeah, they're, they're pretty tough. We, did, we got them in a few weeks ago. Uh, we've had the deer antler for a while now, and it's basically the same thing, but the deer antler comes smaller. Um, the moose antler is naturally shed. Uh, we have a gentleman, a local gentleman, whose dogs go out and find them in the woods, bring them back, he cuts them up, we sell them. Um, they're very, very tough. The dogs gnaw them forever, and they really don't get anywhere, but it does satisfy their uh, chewing urge. Cora has the little deer antlers at home. She likes to chew on those. I haven't tried the moose <laughs> yeah, antler with her yet, because it's almost I mean, about the size of her. Too big for <laughs> but they do come in it. different sizes. This is also the, this is the, the tip of the moose antler, uh, so it's for a smaller dog. But again, it's going to last just as long. It, for chewing wise, I mean, obviously it's going to last less and less. Right. It's not as thick, but um, it's they're great for aggressive chewers. Uh, they tend to be a little expensive. They're all natural and they're hard to produce, uh, to manufacture, to sell. But uh, they do last. So if you're looking for something that's going to last your dog and you have a big chewer, these yeah. do well, last. It's worth every minute. That's the key, though. I mean, penny. if you can have something that, you know, uh, you know, my dog, you get the rawhide things, and, and you're like, didn't I just get that? Yeah, it's gone go? in a few minutes. Yeah. So uh, I mean, that'd be well worth it if it lasts a while. So. Yeah, they, they're great. like I said, great for big chewers, and they last a long time. Well, that's great. And you brought some other stuff too. We've got some uh, delicious oh, yeah. treats. Yeah, we have our assortment of bakery stuff and some new, uh, some new stuff. We uh, this is one of our newest cookies. It's a, Hold on a, a I'm gonna take it out of the wrapper. It's a dipped strawberry. <laughs> Look at and that. It really is. It's it, the the imagination of our baker sometimes is amazing. And if you look at it, it looks just like a, a, a chocolate dipped strawberry. Oh, that's and, great. And we got and the some dogs love it. Yeah, a, the, uh, a little winter box. The know. wolf frosted it's snowmen. Looks good enough to eat. <laughs> they are actually. It's all natural, human grade. Little dip mittens. If you look at them. Where am I going? There we go. Um, and we have you know sports themed basketballs, footballs. Uh, this is one of our most popular right there is the snowball. The snowball. <laughs> Which should be more popular right now. Um, but yeah, again, come on out of our bakery. There's really just about every themed cookie for just about anybody. Uh, we also, you know, do up uh, little boxes with, uh, we call them samplers. We'll put, a, put together a sampler for you. Uh, I brought in some new treats. This is a new company we're dealing with now. It's called Primal. And again, it's all natural, wholesome uh, all meat. There's no grains in these. Uh, this one happens to be liver crunches. It's pieces of liver, um, and these are chicken. Just pieces of chicken. And again, no. They're great for a, a grain-free diet, which is becoming very popular nowadays. Right. Yeah. Um, and 
they don't have enough grain free treats usually so the new company we're dealing with so i brought them with us to introduce them that's um, great yeah so, so but now of course <coughs> Excuse me, you always have a lot going on oh, for your paws. Always a lot going on for your paws. We just had our annual puppy party last weekend. Yep. This weekend we're having the uh, the pug rescue. Uh, March 17th coming up is uh, Lucky Paws. Uh, it just really can bring your dog in, they'll get a free cookie, and you know, it's an opportunity to raise some money for the shelter. We're going to be selling shamrocks. Put your dog's name on the shamrocks yep. and put it up on the wall. Um, then we have the For Lover Dogs Pitbull and Rottweiler Rescue coming in on March 20th. I believe, yeah, March 20th, three, 12 to 3 again. Um, and it's always ongoing. Our puppy play group, we have uh, all, every Saturday, 11 to 12, which is crazy. People drive, <laughs> drive by my pocket and like, oh my God, look how busy. <laughs> it's packed because all these dogs are a puppy play group. Yep. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. We have, it's, it's just a blast. Especially we call it puppy play group, but it's for everybody. Um, adults, dogs are more than welcome. Uh, and then we're, we're doing something new is we're letting people know that uh, our puppy room is always available. So if you and your friends want to hang out in the cold, they can come down and just hang out in our puppy room. We don't have any problem with that. That's why it's there. It's there yep. for people to you know, come down with their dogs and socialize and play. There's always toys on the floor to play with. Um, and also where it is going to start doing doggy birthday parties. So if you want to you know, use the room for a doggy birthday party, give us a call. We can arrange something. And it's, uh, you know, it's like I said, it's a room for the dogs. In the, and in well, the it's one of the things, too, I think a lot of times people don't realize they think think oh well you know uh, if I've got my one dog and I'm his companion then that's <laughs> fine for the dog but you know dogs just like us they want to have some uh, canine companionship too so. it's actually almost almost a requirement for them because they what that happens if, with us is they just forget how to socialize with dogs and then you meet a dog that say down the park or out on the trail and they don't know how to react right. and they don't know how to interact with the other dog so it's always good for social socialization is great for them huh. Well, that's great. Like you didn't get anyone; you were a puppy, huh? So again, the uh, the uh, pug rescue today from today, 12, twelve to three. Yeah. And Green Mountain Pug Rescue. Come on down and see them. It, it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully they're going to have you know they'll have a few dogs like I said that are ready for adoption. Um, you'll have to do paperwork and stuff like that. Far. Right. I mean, you can't just walk in and get one. Uh, but it, it, it's a they're a great organization. We we really love working with them, um, and it's it'd be nice to meet the dogs. Really well. well. That sounds great. Well, Brian, as always, good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, we'll see, see you down you. there at four-year pause only. And uh, we'll be back here in a minute.